Today, I'm going to convert my helmet and turn it into the ultimate GoPro 7 vlogging setup. I'm gonna strip my helmet, I'm gonna rebuild the front of my helmet, I'm gonna make a bracket to hold the actual GoPro itself, which replaces the whole front of the mouthpiece on the helmet. I'm gonna rebuild the internal mouthpiece so that I can have a wire holder, which completely tidies up the inside. I'm gonna build a custom dead cat. I'm gonna do all the things. Check it out. For the last eight years of riding, I have been a Drift HD Ghost Potato user. And I am tired of really, really, really just rubbish visuals and just appalling sounds. So I've decided that it is time to upgrade to a GoPro Hero 7. I've got an amazing deal on the 7. So I'm gonna convert my helmet and turn it into the ultimate GoPro 7 vlogging setup. So I appreciate that there are probably thousands of videos that talk to you about how to convert or prepare your helmet to take on a GoPro, mount it on the front, mount it on the top side or whatever. As much as I love having my Spartan mount on top of my camera, I do kind of want to have more of a front end view so people can see more from my point of view because I am quite tall. So whenever I film, the camera just seems really super high up, like I'm standing on the seat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to strip out the inside of the helmet. I'm actually going to rebuild and heat mold a new panel for for the front which I'll be able to take off and put back on. So I'll be able to have this front section if I still want to use it in the future. But if I want to just go with the GoPro setup, I can just quickly undo this, take it off, stick on the GoPro mount, which will just keep it nice and sturdy. None of this like bracket from here with like a load of different sections that kind of weave it round to the front and it's just like a big long arm, no. Beyond taking it all apart, the first thing I want to do is get this off and I'm going to make and heat mold my own plastic front guard. As cool as these things look, as ventilating as they are. I never really like that loads of air comes in through here, especially with the mic being just in there. It just creates more wind noise. The plate that I'm going to make is going to completely block off all the wind that comes in through here. And there's plenty of space in here for me to breathe, so I'm not worried about whether or not I'm going to be starving a barrel. I just want a nice, clean front section which is heat molded to this so I can mount my GoPro onto. So that's the first thing I'm going to do beyond stripping it, of course. So let's get the camera off. Let's get the visor off. somewhere safe. So this is my naked AFX FX41. The main thing I want to do today is build a flat bracket that can bolt onto here which houses the GoPro. Nice and simple, easy to put on. Now, I don't know about you, but I have had to endure over the lockdown possibly thousands of messages from friends about baking. That's what they've been getting into while they've been on lockdown. I've been working on the bike, obviously, but they've been doing baking. So this video is partially for them because today I am going to bake a drain pipe. Yes, that's right, a UPVC drain pipe. This stuff is incredible to work with. I've made all manner of things out of this stuff before. And today I'm gonna to be turning it into that tiny little front bracket to go on the front of my helmet. So let's, let's get into it. So if you're making something bigger, like a fairing or a screen for your bike, like this, it's very dynamic, and this is a good length, see? But I'm only making like a little tiny piece, so I'm just gonna work with smaller bits. So now we've got to flatten it out. I'm gonna use the heat gun, but a hairdryer is actually probably better. A heat gun, if you get it wrong, you can get bubbling on the surface. So just keep your distance. There we go. So you want like a little line drawing bird shape. Give it a little blow. That'll cool it down and it stays in that shape, which is what you want for the next stage. So I'm gonna preheat the oven to 100 degrees. Chuck that. I'm gonna leave it until that little red light goes off. 100 degrees, chuck it in. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Super floppy. Give it a couple of minutes. Let's have a look. Rock solid. All right. So now we've got our we need a template for this area here. Bit of cardboard, it's all a bit blue, Peter. Pop that screw in. Gonna draw perf. When you cut it out, this has to be a little bit bigger because you want a little bit of give. Because I am gonna do it with an angle grinder, it's a bit, you know, haphazard. Oh yeah, don't forget, angle grinders are dangerous, so hold on tight. So there's our little template. I've actually got two now because I forgot to film the first one. Brilliant. 
just gonna put a little dot there for first of the screws. Yeah, this UPVC stuff gets everywhere. It's coming along, coming along. Got my little screw. That is nice and sturdy. The issue we have now is that we've got a bit of a gap. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat it up. I think I'm gonna use a pencil once it's warm just to kind of mold it into place. Let's see how it goes. Give it a bit of pressure to really let it cool down. There's still a bit of a gap here. Now this stuff does stretch quite nicely, so I'm gonna heat it up again. I'm gonna press down on this area here whilst holding this in place, just so I can stretch and fill these little gaps underneath here. Now, filled. I'm just gonna whack in a couple of self-tapping thrusts. Now that we've got it secure, we can tidy it up a bit. It ain't pretty, but it works. Solid. Could probably do with a bit of sanding, but <laughs> It looks badass already, but we're not done. So the next thing we've got to do, mount the GoPro. Then if you look just through here, we got still a little bit of gap. Now at speed, that little bit there is gonna create a little bit of wind noise. And we've also got to make the internal microphone bracket. Yeah, we're not just gonna shove the microphone in there and bundle all the wires and we're gonna do it nice and neat. We're gonna make a little bracket that holds it. And we're gonna seal these little gaps here, which will also give us a little bit of padding, which will hold the microphone cable in place once this is on. No cable ties, no gaff tape, none of that. No, no, it's gonna be super neat. No wires going down the side, nothing. So I need to mark where the gap is. All right. So to seal that gap, we need something rubbery. Silicone sealant. So let's fill this up. Right, so while that's drying, I wanna show you this. If you look at the shape of the inside of here, the problem that I have is that I'm not using a purple panda. I'm sure they're great, but I couldn't find anywhere that was in stock. Now I've got this Sony EMC something, 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 something. It's got super long, nearly a meter long wire. And what I need to do, I'm gonna make bracket that is exactly that shape. So it's deeper at the top, smaller at the bottom with little recesses so that the wire can wrap around it. The mic can sit in the middle in it's little custom dead cat and the wire comes out through the side, plugs directly in and is held nicely in grip by the actual panel itself. It's gonna be boom ting. So here's a little bit of leftover UPVC from something that I made before. This is kind of roughly the right shape already, so I'm gonna take this and make the most of it. I've just cut out a little bit of cardboard. That is gonna fit in there. I'm just gonna tuck that in like so. I'm just gonna push those corners up until we start seeing bend occurring. Push that down so it's nice and tight against that internal bit of the helmet in there. See what I'm getting at? Perfect. So that little bit, let's chuck it in the oven for eight minutes, 100 degrees, baked. So I should have mentioned before, when you're doing this, it creates a whole world of UPVC dust, so you really need to wear a mask when you're cutting stuff up. See those two little lines along there and there. I need to bend it on those axes to give it a little bit of room to actually bend. at this point all right so this is going to fit in there but as you can see at the moment it's a little bit too big which is actually what i want because what i need to do i need to make space for the cable to run around it and to do that i need to still change the shape just a little bit on this so now that's starting to warp i need that to fully cool down You must be wondering what the hell I am doing. This little bit 
is the insert, right? What's it for? What's it for? This is over the top, this is silly. The cable's too long, so the idea is that I'm gonna put a groove down here, a groove down there, and I'm gonna put two grooves across both top sections and down the sides through there. So it holds its shape, but the cable runs around the outside of it so it is not all messed up and bunched up because I need to keep space for the dead cat. Just want to add, well, this is the first time I've ever tried this. I just kind of made it up in my brain. Let's see how it goes. That looks pretty good to me. See the little grooves? They completely avoid the corners, right? It's got little bits there. GoPro, all the mounts and stuff come out of this side, therefore the cable's gonna come in through here. Right, so it's not got very far to travel. So let's just assume that this is in. Seems like the GoPro is gonna be about there. So let's grab it there. So grab it in place, wrap it round, wrap it round, wrap it round, wrap it round, wrap it round. And then that will sit inside within its own little dead cat. Let's just test that. Will we do anything? That is a massive win. Look at that. That is awesome. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. Boom. So this stuff is taking forever to dry. Plus, <laughs> I did it before. I put it on those bits there. That's the top. Egypt. I've got to let these dry and then I've got to mount the GoPro onto this. Then we can put the dead cat. We can put it all together. We can see what it looks like. Come on. For the dead cat, just an old sponge, but without all this gubbins. We don't need much. We know it's got to fit into a fairly small space in through here. So I'm just gonna Cut those edges off. Let's try and mimic that. The helmet is shallower there at the bottom than it is at the top. Cheese wedge. It will nicely cushion that mic. So when you're bumping around, doing any off-roady stuff, it's not gonna clank around against the wires and stuff. It's just gonna be really nicely held in there. How do we get it in there? So this little clip here on the lav mic, it doesn't pop off. I don't want to snap it off for whatever. I might, I might need it for, you know, clipping on for, I don't know. Because of that, it makes it a V-shape, right? Very much like that. So let's get the mic wrapped around this little bit here so we can see exactly where it's going to come in. So we'll do it at a slight angle. Nice sharp scalpel. So we've got our little opening in there. And make a little cavity on the inside and just not chop all the way through it. And I need to make a little space for it to sit inside. So I don't want to just cut into it and then just shove it in there and cram it in. I'm just going to fold that out. Get that angle. <laughs> you get the idea. Nicely cushioned. All right. Those bits are nice and dry now. Got a nice bit of sponginess to them. Probably still a bit wet in the middle, but they're nice and solid on the outside. Let's get our GoPro mount on here. For the sake of alignment, I've reattached it. Those bits are filling the gap beautifully. And I have attached the standard GoPro casing. It's not the one I'm gonna use, but I just wanna get it lined up. I always hate this bit, in case you get it wrong. It's this 3M stuff, mega sticks. The little bracket plate that I've made is ever so slightly curved in the middle. So what I'm gonna do, get that out, just to make sure it proper sticks. Just to really force that sticky pad down in place, just to make sure it's properly stuck on. You can see just in there, it's really squeezed down, nicely glued. Ah, it's going nowhere. I'm so close, I can almost taste it. So let's put it back together. What do we need? We need our little internal mic holder thing with our little thingy, plate with our GoPro mount on it, screwdriver, Allen key. That's only for the little bolts I'm gonna use instead of these things. Obviously you need your mic adapter. So I'm not using the standard GoPro housing. I'm using one by a company called Ulanzi. Let's get the GoPro in. So that goes in, bend that over, plug it in. So now our little mic adapter goes in there. 
the tension of that seems to hold it in place. I probably will just put a cable tie around it just to stop it from shifting. I'm using a curved mount, like so. We need a little extension. I'm not gonna do it up super tight. So I'm gonna put it as low as possible. Tighten it a little bit. Nice, 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 nice. Let's get that in. Nice and snug. Are we ready? And then our little mic just pops in. Look at that. Nice. That is tidy. So I'm thinking, I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm really proud of it. But I'm already thinking, I'm probably never going to want to take this bracket off, right? Am I going to want to put on, you know, the other, this? No, I don't think I am. So I'm already thinking, I'm already, oh, can't help myself. I don't want to have to take the microphone out every time. So what am I going to do with this? I think we make a little hole here so we can just plug it in. There it is. And then that just goes just like that. If I don't want to ride without the GoPro. I love it. Actually, I think it's brilliant. I've done a, I've done a really good job, I think. But I'm still not satisfied. I've still got to carry on. Right, I've got a bit more to do. What is the most annoying thing about GoPros? battery life. So let's solve that. Right, so a quick disclaimer. I am going to drill holes in my helmet, but only in the bits that are near vents, like there, a little air vent there, just a little one there. You don't have to do that. This is, this is, this is me. Little one there, which is just part of the bottom bit of plastic round through here. It's not part of the actual shell of the helmet. It's the only bit where I've actually gone through the polystyrene on the inside. This bit's just through like a bit of mesh. There's no polystyrene on the other side of that. I've only just drilled through the mesh, to be honest. And again, this is just through that bottom bracket and through into the bottom down through there. My thinking is, I always wear a backpack. And in that backpack, I've got like a little jumper pack, just in case I've got a dead battery for or whatever reason. But that jumper pack does have loads of USB ports. So quite often when I used to ride with my potato, I'd ride with it plugged into the battery pack. Not too much tension. So compared to my previous setup where I had my potato up top with the wire wrapped around it and then coming down the back into my bag, now I can just run it along the side and down. I don't really like wires showing on the outside, but reality is with GoPros is that they just run out of battery. I know there is a thing about how you can't really charge them and record because it kills the battery, but while I'm not recording, at least now I know it is gonna be charging. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll put links to everything that I've used in the description where I've got them from, whether it be Fleabay or Amazon or whatever. Don't forget to check out the shop. We do way more than just t-shirts, phone covers, coasters, bed sheets, shower curtains, you name it, it's all in there. And we got thousands of products across hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bikes. Check it out. Thanks for watching, ride safe. See you in the next video.